YouTube, what's going on? Junie here, back again with another reaction video, back again with another viewer request. And as always, today's episode is sponsored by RuneGate Studio, my actual channel that I put actual effort into, which is actually good content. I promise. So if you feel like supporting your boy and what he tries to do professionally, head on over here and subscribe, watch the videos. Maybe you'll even like them. No promises though. Link will be in the description down below. Today's video, we're reacting to a request that was submitted five months ago. Oopsies by Captain Easy Kill. And that is Candlemas at the gallows end. Candlemas, I'm pretty sure is like one of those super early doom power metal bands. A Swedish doom metal band from 1984. So I guess not that early, but you know, still. I know them because I've watched the video for Bewitched, but that's that's it. Uh, but I did enjoy that video. I also know that Dead from Mayhem appeared in like one of their other music videos for like a second. I'm not sure which one it is, but apparently he, you can spot him a little Easter egg lurking in the background of one of Candlemas's videos, which is pretty cool. Mayhem. Anyways, of course, despite the fact that it took me five months to get the reaction, I'm still doing it. So everybody else following his example, leave your suggestions in the comments down below and the next video could be yours. It might take me two days to get to your suggestion. It might take me five months. Who knows, the list is long, I do what I can, and here we are. I also just wanted to have a moment here because news broke this morning, of course, that Keith Flint of the Prodigy fame was found dead this morning. You know, I didn't really listen to tons of the Prodigy, but I have heard, of course, some of their greatest hits or whatever, I knew who they were. Um, and it's, you know, it's always a sad day when, he's, when anybody, I guess, dies, or especially a public figure that a lot of people admired or an artist who connected with kind of fans across the world. And of course, the circumstances around his death are sad as well. And I'm sure there's gonna be just an outpouring of reactors just uh, making sure that they throw up a, a prodigy reaction video like today or as soon as they can. I, and I got a request for that as well. And it makes sense, you know, pe the, it's a big news. People wanna pay respect to their favorite artists and stuff. And, you know, I probably will do a prodigy reaction, but I think maybe a little while from now, as tempting as it is to kind of make a video based on something like this, because you know it would get a lot of views and clicks just because, you know, the hoot news is hot right now, the circumstances are trending. I, I just don't want to build my channel off of off of exploiting an artist's death because reaction videos are ex exploitative. Ugh, I, I said I was gonna look up this word before I said it. Reaction videos are exploitative enough already. Just kind of going off of an artist's name that I, I don't think it's necessary for me to do the same thing off of somebody who recently died. So I just wanted to take, say this moment to say like, of course, rest in peace, Keith Flint. Um, I'm sure everybody, all, the, all your fans around the world and the music industry will miss you a lot. Have a moment of silence, of course, but I'm not gonna put like his name or image in the thumbnail. I just wanted to have this moment. So everybody press F please, okay? Respect our boy and uh, go listen to some Prodigy today. Why not? Hey, I I'm sure I will, just not on camera. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say for that. We can get back to the video now. I hope this doesn't come off as too like cheesy or preachy. I've got the lyrics, I've got the audio, and we should be good to go. <laughs> I mean, this is just beautiful already. Okay, that's something I do remember from the Bewitched music video is that this lead singer has a set of pipes on him. So great hearing that quality of voice in metal. His vibrato is just off the charts. It makes it such a grand, epic, sweeping, 
beautiful sound. I mean, this intro is just so mellow and just so melancholy, but this like glimmer of, I mean, because of the art, but this glimmer of sunrise and hope. I don't know, it's just a very great aesthetic and it's, you know, I'm enjoying it. Everything is so soaked in reverb. The drums sound so just like echoey and big, but now we're about to head into the more, uh, it seems like faster paced part of the song. It's a little note, apparently this song is about a heretic being executed by hanging, which I guess makes sense considering the name of the track. Let's just keep that in mind for when we start dissecting the lyrics. Wow, listen to this. Oh, okay. So it's like tempo switches are kind of interesting. Oh, so good though. That was nice that uh that kind of like inflection or interval at the end there had a very like broadway musical-esque sound coming from it which is pretty cool because the whole performance is so theatrical and the lead singer's vocals have such a yeah i guess such a such a presence i don't know it's so it's so fun before we get into the lyrics i just wanted to note as well like the tempo changes are very interesting they kind of keep switching from back and forth between like very slow to more driving but the vocals still just glide effortlessly over the instrumental so no matter even if it's going slow it still has this very grandiose feeling to it very cool very enjoyable. All right, now we'll go and take a look at the lyrics. Sunrise, I greet you, the beauty of your light. So warm and tender was never the night. In tears, I see you, the last time it will be. So give me your blessing, I'll meet my destiny. So this is obviously him on the morning of his execution, greeting the sunrise. And, you know, since it's his last one, he is now realizing the extent of its beauty. All these things you take for granted in life, as soon as you realize you're about to lose them, you start appreciating them that much more. No rest for the sinner. Hypnos refused me in my sleep. This was the last night of my life with wine I pondered on my deeds. Um, obviously, he didn't get any sleep last night because he was unable to be hypnotized. I, I, whatever. He just like couldn't sleep last night. He spent the sleepless hours drinking wine and pondering, I guess, the path that got him here. The chorus, ring brother, ring for me. Ring the bells of hope and faith. Ring for my damnation. I am at the gallows end. I guess that's the bells tolling his execution. He's calling out to the bell tower, almost exulting in the exclamation of his impending execution. Cool. I mean, it's a cool, like it's like a story song, you know? So we'll just have to see where the story takes us. But overall, just aesthetically, the, the song sounds incredible. Hey. See, now it's all slow again. Ooh, this guy's voice is something else. So interesting. Oh, 
Very cool, Kanye. Again, I can't get over both the guy's voice, his presence. It's so invigorating. It's so refreshing. Because, you know, look, I love just harsh, distorted noise as much as every other metalhead, right? Maybe even more so than some. But I also do appreciate this over-the-top classical approach. The tempo transitions, while kind of still in the same place, make for a very cool just sound and structure to the song. Like the flow is very interesting. Looking at these lyrics here again. With sad emotions, I sing this epitaph. My swan song, my headstone, the feral of my heart. Hills of Tiber and up with the gallows stand, only the vultures will come to see me hang. So I guess he's singing this song as his, you know, as his epitaph, as, you know, as his final words, the feral of his heart, because nobody else is gonna record his words. No one else is gonna come see him hang. Only the vultures on the hills of Tiber. Behold the sight of my Golgotha, the gallows enlightened by the moon. Proud of his art are the carpenter, his creation a tool for my doom. He is now beholding the sight of his Golgotha, which, of course, is the hill where Jesus and two other dudes were crucified. So maybe he's implying some sort of martyrdom. But also the last two lines as well are kind of interesting, saying, Proud of his art are the carpenter, his creation a tool for my doom. Literally taken, of course, you know, a carpenter would have built the gallows, uh, and if he is a devout man, maybe he would be proud that his creation is being put to such uh, pious use as to end the lives of wicked heathens and heretics. On the other hand, what it makes me think of is that Jesus had was like by trade a carpenter as well, so that kind of puts a whole other spin on it, where this gallows used to execute heretics is also the creation of he who he blasphemed and transgressed against hmm. then we have the lyrics i am the outcast no winner i am the fallen the one that lived all his life as a sinner the tempter has called me his son Ooh. okay okay or the line that stands out to me the most is the very end here the tempter has called me his son the tempter obviously being satan the devil, Lucifer, has called this heretic his son, who is because he has lived his life as a sinner. He realizes that maybe he, well, I don't know if he deserves this, but he's definitely not surprised by the fact that he is getting executed right now, you know? Anyways, guitar solo. First incoming. What a great song. What a great, great song, hey? I hope you all enjoyed that as much as I did because every once in a while, I just get super enthusiastic about something I'm hearing on this channel. And this was one of those songs. The lyrics here as well, soon it is time, the dark has now fled. And I see the place for my death, the priest he will pray for my lost soul, I'm sure he is wasting his time because he doesn't think that his soul able to be saved at this point. He's gone too far. And then this little section is interesting. A sinner, a fool or a devil, or just a victim of life. It's no fun to burn in hell's fire, but I sure have enjoyed my life. 
So maybe he's contemplating, I guess, which category he falls into or what history will remember him as or what he actually was, because maybe he doesn't know himself. Overall, the lyrics aren't too complicated, but they tell like a very interesting story. And it's done with such theatricality and passion that it's it's hard not to just get sucked into it, you know? I mean, overall, I just had a great time with this song. I love the whole sound of it. Everything was incredible. Um, the guy's voice, of course, was a standout. But the instrumentals did hold their own as well. They had some great tempo changes, interesting dynamics, just a very full, epic sound overall. So I really have no complaints about this song. I think I just have to listen to more Candlemas at some point. So again, if you like the video, make sure to like it. If you like the channel, make sure to subscribe. Of course, everybody have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow, probably. And um, yeah.